Hey guys, so today you and I are going to talk about patterns. So let's get into it. So the question in question was, Frederick, when an experienced software engineer thinks about problems, do they start to see patterns? Are you talking about design patterns or just patterns in general? Because yes to both, but design patterns are usually more rare than just patterns. So I'm gonna draw drop a piece of insight on you if you haven't thought about this. Uh, you know that thing we call intuition? That's a pattern. That's your subconscious identifying through your through like through your like your through your uh, through your perceptions that there's a pattern here, and that pattern makes you have an emotional response to what you're seeing, your gut feeling, if that makes sense. And uh, I wouldn't say I famously have said, but I'd like to one day maybe have said famously said that there is no more powerful the tool of a measurement than the gut feeling of a senior. It is the most powerful thing we have to evaluate complexity and the way forward and predicting the future and all that good stuff. And it comes down to a, a pattern recognition, basically. You have made so many mistakes or built so many things that you sort of already know what's going to happen before it happens. It's uh, that imagination uh, ability that some people have. Not all seniors uh, have that. I would say like some are very bad at uh, seeing these patterns. But uh, there is always a measurement to it. It's, I mean, the way that y this is actually usually the thing that gives you, well, it's the thing that gives you the value, like the real value to um, to companies at a higher level. When your experience is so vast that you know what's going to work and what's not going to work before you even try, usually. And I know that there are some people out there who are like radically like, you know, saying that oh no that's bullshit and they want to you know they want to disrupt and they want to question and so forth and you should absolutely disrupt and question when there are things that as I like to say if something isn't working disrupt it immediately because it can't I mean of course it can get worse but at the very least you should try to fix something that isn't working all that well but the, then there are people who try to question the fundamental value of things that have been established to the point where it's almost silly. Like the, they're trying to, how do I put this? They're not trying to change the world because they really have a better idea. They're ignorant and stupid, and they, but uh, they won't under, they can't uh, evaluate the potential value of the thing that they are su suggesting versus the thing that is already there. An example that I, you know, I like my go-to for this is if there is a monolith in your system, is that a bad thing? Well, to an ignorant software developer it is, and they are going to try to push microservices on you on the first day. And they're going to do that be not because it's a good idea, it's not necessarily a bad idea for all situations, but they're going to do it not because it's a good idea, but because they don't like monoliths. Emotional people without any experience is the, uh, well, yeah, it's the leading cause to all problems in the world, I would say. Uh, you can quote me on that. I've never seen a pattern more telling than that uh, uh, people who follow their emotions with little to no information and education on topics is like, it is the problem that uh, we, are, so we always have with practically everything and software is no exception and that is why experienced people who see patterns uh, or like uh, engineers uh, are usually better at uh, senior software developers are usually better at uh, solving problems that's why their solutions are usually well more well uh, well developed because being a junior is as I've said before guys uh, there is very little you know, if we talk about r pure coding skill depending on how you want to define that, of course. Uh, there's very little difference between a mid-level and like a senior software developer in that arena. A talented like a mid-level software developer, uh, or even, I mean, juniors can be really, really good as well. Uh, they, they all ha might have the necessary coding skill to code really great solutions, and that's one of the reasons, for example, uh, the, I don't, I know everybody doesn't really, most people don't really like algorithmic 
interview questions and so forth, especially not the seniors, because if they have to solve that problem, they have to have talent or like they have to have raw skill. And uh, some seniors, unfortunately, they are the sorts of people who have uh, they've actually lost most of their coding skill and all they really have is experience but here's the question the problem with that is that uh, that has a shelf t uh, sh uh, like, a, like an expiration date experience isn't worth shit if you do, if you don't continuously embody new information uh, in, uh, like incorporate new information uh, because the experience is uh, the uh, things keep on moving and if you stagnate your experience isn't worth anything but as a when you uh, when you do a coding test like an algorithmic coding test uh, that's you I, I mean it could be experience but usually the seniors have experiences around working in the industry and how to structure systems and so forth that's absolutely more valuable but uh, a junior software developer can outdo a senior software developer if you give them a simple algorithmic problem to solve that's literally how because the the necessary coding skill required is actually on like it, it, it is at a junior level if you understand how to solve the algorithmic problems uh, so the thing that the senior does on the other hand better than most that it depends on the software developers but that's the, that's the that's the difference that they can see how to structure something that the juniors and the mid levels have to discover because they've never done it before. So to give you an example, uh, one of the reasons why I was put in charge of my current team was because my manager understand or under, uh, basically needed someone who can build something that in this case my manager knows me, he knows that I, I have the necessary experience to make this thing happen. I don't have to guess how to do this because I've done it before. I know what needs to be done. And when you have a high stake situation, as you can imagine, you can ask yourself, like, would you, if you take yourself, if you go to the doctors, would you prefer to have the world's best, quote unquote, if that can be measured, uh, fresh? Uh, medical student like he he or she might have top grades for example top top grades or would you like to have a completely average uh, uh, average doctor who has treated your condition a hundred times or a million times talent isn't a factor usually for people certainty or like predictable outcomes is the thing that is most interesting and that's the difference where experience like uh, seeing patterns and understanding what's going to work and what's not going to work is a, it's almost a superpower it's something everybody gets it guys like you will get i mean you're getting it uh, f through just existing but that's the thing right that's why the old are old and wise and the young are what is it that bill maher says young dumb and full of cum yeah that's pr pretty much it like they might be the most intelligent people in the world and by the time they get to be old and wise they might be a lot older and wiser than average but they haven't gone through all those experiences so they can't see the pattern because they've never seen the first instance of what's of the you know it's the first time they're doing it right but for the seniors definitely they have seen most of this stuff over and over and that is as i said why it's on average is better or why people want senior level experiences it's not because they necessarily are super super much like a lot smarter than everybody else sometimes that's true but on average it is about as i said that that predictability that if someone has done this a hundred times before then at the very least they have continuously uh, continuously been able to ship solutions that will work and the, it is the certainty that things will turn out well that is so attractive with uh, when you're dealing with senior level software developers so what I want you to take away from this is that of course you start seeing patterns you everybody sees patterns in everything uh, that's that's the or entire like, that's the human mind that is the, the reason why we started using tools that's everything to us and for us seniors uh, or for like the people who are considered seniors the that's the number one value that you can bring 
your experience and your ability to see patterns, what's going to work, what's not going to work. Because the reality is that if you have juniors trying to solve some problems that are more experience based, like building a t typical a certain type of system, for example, you, a senior might have built that system in many different formats or built parts of those sorts of systems many times over. So they know how to position things so that you can get the results that you want. But a junior has to discover all of that for the very first time. Even if they're a genius, that's probably not going to work on the first try because every genius will tell you that experimentation is necessary to acquire wisdom. Wisdom is the, the most important thing, right? And wisdom does not come uh, to, to you without trial and error. And a lot of companies, of course, I mean, experimentation is part of it. You can't avoid it. But of course, you want to uh, as po much as possible have people who have already gone through that journey and sort of can get more things right faster so the cost and time it takes to to figure out what's going to work and what's not going to work is as low as possible and that is the pattern uh, recognition that's the seniors uh, trump card if they are truly senior they will have the ability to predict what's going to work and what's not going to work that's not always the true. Always true, though. But then again, the thing that we call senior today is a joke by my standards. Senior, like the true seniors, as I call them, they are the, as I like to say, you hire these people because they are a, a they are an insurance policy that whatever you're doing is going to turn out well. And the reason why they can basically guarantee that, not always, of course, but to a large extent, is their ability to recognize a pattern in the work that is being done. Have a great day.